show you where the wind starts. Okay. A pipe organ is a wind blown instrument. It's got to have air or it can't speak. Unlike a digital organ, which is a pipeless organ, the pipe sounds of which have been sampled electronically through a computer and the recording equipment. So here you have an organ blower. Now that's the main blower. The air, like I said, there's a large turbine in there that's just turning and sucking in air from another part of the building. And then that air goes, feeds directly into an air reservoir. And then that air reservoir goes into where we're about to visit, which will be the main organ chambers. You see where the wind originates. And that wind is then delivered through that back wall. And we go here. This is good for talking. <laughs> You can do it. So the wind comes in through these trunks. You can see these wind trunks and these lines. Okay. And you see that they're always connecting to another place where the wind can be stored. And these are called reservoirs where the air will go. And they have springs on them to keep them at a certain, uh, I almost said the word temperature, what do I mean, uh, air pressure. Uh, most of the organ, the main organ, is on three or three and a half inches of wind pressure. Then that air passes up into the chest, which the pipes will sit on top of. So the air is up in here, and then the mechanisms that are below the, where the air enters into the bottom of the pipe will open when you press keys on your keyboard. This organ has three stories in it. The first story is mostly, well, it, it's, yeah, it's almost all mechanical things that Again, you see all these different reservoirs, and they go to different chests on which different families of pipes are sitting. But now we're going to go and visit the second floor, which you'll see the top of these on which the uh, pipes will sit and then speak out to the congregation. So now we're going to go back out. We will go to the second floor. I've got to give you some instructions. As you go up these stairs, we want to be careful that our feet don't go in touch. and touch here. You'll see on the top of all these pipes here, there we call sleeves, this part of the pipe here. And that allows the pipe to be tuned in perfect harmony with all 3,000 of its neighbors. A pipe tuner will come up here with tools and sometimes he'll have to knock the top down or bring it back up a little bit just to make it in tune. The pipes up against the blue wall here that you're seeing are some of the 16-foot trombone parts and the 16-foot double trumpet. And what I mean by 16 feet is that from the bottom of the lowest pipe in this family of pipes, is the, the tallest one is approximately 16 feet tall. And so they have to go way down to the bottom of the organ before they can come up to the top and speak. There is a third floor. We're not going to visit that today, but I will show you how to get there. Up in the third floor, up there, yeah, you can see where the pipe's going up to the third floor there. Wow. All right. You're, you're looking at well over a million dollars of, of a pipe organ instrument, so we have to be very, very careful. You're standing in what we call the swell division of the organ. And in this division, you'll see in the front here, there's some louvers that are vertical. A pipe organ is always speaking at full sound. So that's a problem if you want to be quieter. So what you have to do, they figured out, is you have to put the, the pipes in a box that can be closed in increment. But these will close and everything will continue to be full sound while you're standing here. But out there, what happens? It's it, the, correct. It gets softer out there because the sound is kept from going out. You'll notice that the pipes in a pipe organ have all different types of uh, shapes and forms. And oftentimes, the uh, names of the pipes themselves 
are literal descriptions in either German or Italian or French language of what they are. For example, a cone pipe or a conical pipe or a wood pipe or a, a flute pipe. So they have some pipes are wood. You notice these against the wall here are wood. This one here is really kind of cool because the physics of sound of air passing up from where the toe enters the board down below, coming up through the mouth here. That air travels this length, but when it gets to a stopper here, it forces the air to go back and do it twice. So this actually produces a six, what we call a 16 foot pitch. Although the tallest pipe is only about eight foot pitch because it's making it do it twice. Does that make sense? I try to get better every time I explain that. These pipes are missing here for right now. We've sent them back to the factory to have some work done on them. Now you're in what we call the choir division. This is a separate division of the organ that houses different families of pipes and has different sounds. And you see there, there's a third floor of pipes up there. And up in this division, we have some of the military trumpets that are, uh, my kids like to call them train whistles. <laughs> they will blow your, blow your mind and your ears. I do imagine it being rather loud it's, in it's this very section powerful while right it is there, played. Yes. All right. So you see there's more to a pipe organ than just the pipes that you can see on the outside that look so pretty and nice, but there's also this whole army. And they're, they're actually called ranks of pipes. So a rank or a row of soldiers is the same thing as a rank or a row of pipes in a pipe organ. And the more ranks you have, the more power or flexibility the organist can deliver when performing on the organ. The thermometer, it's very important that when an organ tuner comes to tune the pipe organ, that the temperature that's up here is the same temperature as out in the congregation. Otherwise, it will not be in tune. So it's important to have this temperature. And so the, the, the tuner comes, and the first thing the tuner does is log into a book. When I arrived, the temperature in the choir division was, and then he makes a record of it, so that we can see if we did what we were supposed to do on our end to make ready for tuning. The pipes contract uh, when it's hot. They, uh, I mean, they uh, contract when it's cold. They expand when it's hot. And so all of that has to be carefully regulated when you want to tune your pipe organ. All right, great guys.